hello beautiful people listening to Roma. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video on the side of prince harry's charity chief sensationally quits in the wake of pat tillman award scandal interesting so today we're going to be checking this video to hear what i got to say let's check it out standing uh, there's been a new blow now uh, to uh, prince harry kinsey and that is that uh, his long time friend and uh, worker i guess the guy who ran the invictus games for him has uh, quit has sensationally quit after 10 years and uh, this is uh, not looking good for him his name is dominic reed former soldier uh, and he's basically just saying that he's quitting uh, as Harry's charity chief and uh, as the chief executive of the Invictus Games Foundation uh, just to explore different opportunities. So he's just leaving. Now, there's lots of nice words from Harry. Oh, you know, he's been a wonderful friend. And, and, and Dominic Reed says, oh, yeah, great, great, great time for me to move on. But uh, this is a bit of a blow for Harry uh, as he's still suffering all this criticism for taking that award. He's going through mm. a bad phase, isn't he? Yeah, and I, you know, if you go back and look at Spotify's initial, um, sev you know, announcement of their the separation between Meghan and Harry and Spotify, they were glowing in their exit announcement, their exit press release too. I think that that's the best way to go. But Dominic Reed was the CEO of the Invictus Games Foundation. He said on his mentorship profile, because he offers mentorship online, that he built Invictus Invictus's success off the inaugural London 2024 Games, where he was event director. He said he was responsible for delivering um, the games and the nurturing of the Invictus spirit and its global impact, which Prince Harry repeats in his statement saying goodbye to him. Mr. Reed said it was time for someone new to take this vital movement forward um, into its second vigorous decade. He also made the point that he had done everything he'd initially planned to do. For instance, he says it was his idea to create this winter uh, Invictus series that we're about to see. That's what Prince Harry was promoting when he sat down with Good Morning America um, within hours, I believe, after stopping to see his father after the cancer diagnosis. But to me, and I'm not trying to be super negative here, but if you are seeing something coming to life for the first time, like the Winter Games, wouldn't you actually want to see that come to fruition? Wouldn't you want to see that really good all point. of the way through? Yeah, like, I feel like that's a little strange that you're saying, well, now that I've done everything I ever planned to do, I'm going to take a step back. What, don't you want to see how the uh, Winter Games kick off? And, and don't you want to see the success mm. of the Winter Games? It is. A, you, you hadn't thought of that. I mean, well, the way I was going to frame it is, you know, we don't, we can't sort of speculate uh, what the reason for this is. Uh, and uh, as we said, yes. lots of friendly words from both Prince Harry and Dominic Reed. But it does seem slightly strange, uh, as you say, uh, just ahead of the games, that he just sort of quits and says, I'm going to explore different opportunities. Uh, he hasn't got anything to go to in particular. Uh, but, it, it, you know, whatever the reason, it does sort of paint the picture that Harry is in a real malaise here. And this has happened just over, well, just a week after uh, he made what I think was the yeah. mistake of his uh, life by accepting the Pat Tillman Award. Uh, he is uh, widely derided for doing that. So uh, he's going through a very uh, difficult phase, isn't he, old Harry? I think you're absolutely right. Uh, there's no question. And, you know, we just recently covered the idea of... Um, the publisher being disappointed that they don't have spare on paper back yet, that the material just wasn't there yet for them to justify republishing this book. Uh, so where is spare on paperback? It, you know, there there's a lot of pressure on Prince Harry to create content to generate. And it's not just creating content because he's contractually obligated to a publishing house, to Netflix. Mm. Um, but there's there's a lot of pressure on him financially as well, because mm. his lifestyle in California is uh, Montecito, is, as you know, one of the most expensive towns in this entire state. They have a beautiful, large home. They are their security is, uh, you know, you 
you can't compete with the security they, they have. It's presidential, probably better than we saw on Saturday, My if we're being honest, um, with President Trump in Pennsylvania. Mm. So it, his lifestyle is very expensive, and he has a lot um, a lot of pressures on him right now. People. And Invictus is supposed to be the one shining one shining thing, the the one thing that gives him credibility, the one thing that is almost effortless because it's existed for 10 years and everybody loves it. Um, so this is a real hiccup for mm. Prince Harry because now he has to go find somebody that he works well with, that he gels with for this very important role uh, and just hope that there's no, there, there's no more turnaround because we know with Archwell, Archwell Audio, Archwell Productions, revolving door of employees. We saw that at Kensington yeah. Palace. People moving over to work with William and Kate. Uh, people accusing them of bullying. I believe these two are very difficult to work with. Yeah, I think uh, that picture has built imagine. up. Imagine, imagine the fact that the CEO of Investors Game resigned. Is it enough to say, yeah, we understand people fall out and stuff. But I mean, the timing itself speaks so much volume. And imagine, yeah, of course, their lifestyle in Montecito is going to be very exotic because, I mean, to keep up is not easy. <laughs> it's not even easy because, obviously, the from where they are coming from, do you think they want to go down to, no, they, oh, they want to go higher, very high. So to, they will have to do everything to keep up. And honestly, lots of people are angry for the fact that he accepted the award him being a prince the fact that he does not even respect himself that as a as a prince is shocking he's a freaking prince he's a prince he's a prince i mean i'm even trying to remind myself that this uh harry that we are even talking about talking about is a prince so what exactly is his problem but again he has to figure that out this um him coming back with spare paperback or whatever um do you think there's any more interesting things for them to talk about except they want to be talking about themselves which maybe people might find interesting people may not but again except they want to spice things up then Maybe they may come up with it, but again, let's let's see what happens. These people might shock us, but to see that they are actually falling out with so many people is interesting. But does that really look good for their brand image? Let me know what you think about it. Let's go on. What to work with? Yeah, I think uh, that picture has built up. Uh, but uh, as you quite rightly say, the games aren't that long away. This guy was uh, the chief mm. executive of the Invictus Games. In something of a hurry now, Harry's going to have to find a replacement, uh, which again casts a kind of suspicious light on why this guy, Dominic Reed, mm -hmm. is going. It seems, uh, as you quite rightly point out, Kinsey, a very sort of key yes. moment for somebody so crucial to the operation to suddenly quit. Right, and if you're, and if this is your vision, how are you not there mm. to lay out, you know, to lay out your vision in front of everyone on day one and say, this is how I, I, I see this event mm, rolling yes. out or this is how the day is supposed to go. Uh, I think that it puts Prince Harry in a I very suppose, difficult yes. position um, because this is their first one and there is no immediate apprentice. We're not hearing that oh, so somebody's ready to jump in. And usually when you're in a large position like CEO, I mean, it, it, it surprises me if he were to give a, an advance that they wouldn't have somebody ready mm. to announce on the tail end of this. So-and-so stepping down, he did incredible work for us. Congratulations to the new person yes. that we put in charge of this. That would make this story go away immediately, but that person doesn't exist yet, and that's not a good look for the Invictus team. Absolutely. Uh, let me ask you something, uh, Kinsey, sort of moving on. Now, uh, there's a great fevered speculation that uh, Joe Biden will step down this weekend and uh, they'll need somebody, the Democrats will need somebody new on the ticket. Uh, you know, a lot of Democrats hope it won't be Kamala Harris because uh, she's the only person alive who could lose bigger than Biden to Trump. Uh, 
How about Meghan Markle? I don't know. I don't know. I, is, is Hillary Clinton considered in that in that capacity? She could. She, she could. But bad. I've got this idea for a replacement. How about Meghan Markle? What do you think? Oh my God. That is the nasty. I'm going to block you. I'm blocking you on social media. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that I is mean, the worst ever said out loud. Uh, let's, 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 let's to be serious. I mean, there has been speculation in the past, has there not, mm -hmm. that uh, the Democrats might be interested in <laughs> Meghan Markle politically. And you know what she's like? She'd rather <laughs> like that kind of status, wouldn't she? Uh, I mean, it's not beyond the pale. Don't do well, that. She was courting Gavin Newsom. She was meeting. We we know that there were some meetings between Meghan Markle and really? Gavin Newsom because she was trying to find if there was a way for her to work with the governor of California, who's also name is in the running to replace mm. Joe Biden. Uh, and what I, from my understanding, she was trying to say to him, like, mentor me, like, how can I get involved in California politics? But into in Gavin Newsom's mind, he thought Harry and Meghan were perfect for fundraising. They were they were the na the perfect names right. to put on an invitation to get people to show up to some private house in Beverly Hills or wherever and, and get donors because people wanted to hobnob with these members yes. of the royal family. So you're right. I do think and we saw during the 2020 campaign, Megan basic Megan and Harry basically endorsed Joe Biden on ABC's Times 100 event. Um, their language was very clear whose side they were on when it came to that election. Mm. Megan was featured in several uh, digital conferences for voting with Michelle Obama, Stacey Abrams, Hillary Clinton, you know, Kamala Harris. You knew whose side Meghan Markle was on in the 2020 election, and she does pursue these relationships. Um, I believe she was working on something with Hillary Clinton at one point in time. Uh, Hillary mm. w did have a relationship with Princess Diana, so the Clintons eager to continue to communicate with Prince Harry and his family. Uh, so I, you know, I think that that Meghan would gladly jump at the opportunity. Mm, Is it exactly. realistic uh, in, in, for this partic particular election season? Exactly. I don't feel like that's an option, but I do think that she that is something she aspires mm. to do one day. And she'll be uh, furious and presumably by extension, Harry too, that uh, Trump looks certain to be the next president. Before you go- Absolutely, uh, yeah. absolutely. She they hate Donald Trump. Remember when Prince Harry was pranked on YouTube with somebody pretending to be Greta Thunberg. And he sat there on the phone for half an hour and talked trash about Donald Trump. And they refused to meet Donald Trump when he was there to meet the queen. These two loathe President oh Trump. God. And Trump eats it up and says, yeah, go ahead and dislike me. And when, I, when I'm back in the White House, I'm going to report you, <laughs> Prince Harry. I'm sending you right back home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want to hate me, uh, let's just take a look at your visa, Prince Harry. Hey? He <laughs> says he's going to re uh, revoke it uh, because he doesn't like the way this couple treated the Queen. Uh, so uh, I look forward to that. Uh, but uh, just before you go, uh, Kinsey, I've got to get your thoughts on uh, Donald, Donald Trump's uh, extraordinary speech, that remarkable event last night, whatever political side you were on. Uh, that was an amazing story, almost religious, messianic. It was a very, very powerful occasion, wasn't it? Look, I, I thought that, it, you know, it was very brave of him to recount that. And you could tell what, as he was repeating it that he he was hurt yeah. by it. This is something he doesn't want to talk about very often. And he said, I'm never going to talk about this again. Also, the fact that it was so long, I was like looking at my the, fr my, the friends around me and I said, he's trying to show us that he can stand up there with all of this energy, with all of this electric, uh. you know, he's electrifying yeah. for an hour and a half. Joe Biden can barely give a three minute press Hi. conference. He's trying to show us that physically he's capable of doing this um but uh yeah i mean it's been a difficult last few mm -hmm. weeks week i mean it's yeah. been so i can't even it's a been a, a whirlwind yeah. um and i, I i'm praying for him and his family because this has to be a really emotional yes. time for them interesting i thought um biden taking the uh, dropping out of the campaign was noble uh, was beautiful to see regardless he needs rest i don't know any, what anybody's going to be thinking or saying joe biden needs rest but again, people are skeptical because um, Kamala is now uh, the forefront, regardless. And people are like, um, yeah, it would not be a bad idea to have a woman, a, a woman as, as president. But at the same time, the chances of her winning. But at the same time, do you think people are going to vote for uh, vote for her? Or do you think people are going to pick her, choose her over to Donald Trump? Well, um, lots of people will be, will be like uh, any other person other than Trump. But regardless, let's see how this goes. But again...
Megan, Marco. It is not even surprising to even hear all of this because, I mean, they love the spotlights. They love that the light sh well, shines on them. I don't think she will be ready to do the work or for any or for any political work or job or whatever. I don't think they are they, they are ready to do it because if they can leave the royal family, is it the uh, politics that they want to st keep uh, come, put, politics that they want to come and sit and stay? <laughs> it's a lot of work. Can they handle the pressure? <laughs> Let's not deceive ourselves. That, that is not the fit for them. They will not. They will rather take something else than to do that one. But this is interesting, regardless. The fact that uh, they already do not have a uh, um, acting CEO. The fact that there is no um, CEO that will supersede the former CEO speaks so much volume to me. Like, okay, maybe something happened in between. Because I mean, look at the timing. From the CEO of Invictus Game resigned, and that will be obviously vacant, except they have another one they don't want to share with the public. Or what do you think? But I mean, they raised so many, so many questions to be like, okay, what was the, what would be the re re the reason why he up and left so quickly? It may not be quick per se, but I mean, the timing exactly is questionable. But let me know what you think. Regardless, I'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share. I really love to share that. Can share other useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.